All right, some breaking inputs which have just come in where the opposition party has withdrawn the petition on the Chief Justice of India's impeachment. But this, this is a big story that's in fact just come in where it is being said that the opposition party has withdrawn the petition. Kapil Sibyl, we are given to understand, has withdrawn the petition challenging the order of the Vice President Secretariat rejecting the impeachment motion against the Chief Justice of India. Now, a five-judge constitutional bench of the Supreme Court was hearing a petition moved by the two Congress lawmakers challenging the rejection of the impeachment notice against Chief Justice of India Deepak Misra by Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Venkaya Naidu. And for more on this, we are joined in by our correspondent Jessica Taneja. Jessica, good morning to you. This, this appears to be a bit of a flip-flop on the part of the Congress. First, they had filed for a petition in the Supreme Court challenging the rejection of the motion for the impeachment of Chief Justice of India. And now they seem to have withdrawn that petition. What's happening here? Mother, the fact of the matter is that this petition has now been withdrawn. And under what circumstances, it's interesting to highlight that uh, senior lawyer Kapil Sibyl was inside court number six where this petition was being heard. He primarily took 10 minutes just to elaborate on certain points on whether the CGI is the master of the roster, which in fact got to... You know, uh, that premise got rejected by the six-judge, five-judge bench, which in turn said that this is not the matter before the court right now. It will look at it at some other time. And from there, he then proceeded to say that who passed this administrative order? If the CJI did, then how was it not known and how was a copy of that order not published to the petitioners here? So uh, that is where the that is what led to the entire confusion inside the courtroom as to who passed that order, because according to Supreme Court rule book, it's supposed to be the Chief Justice of India who is the master of the roster. Mm -hmm. He uh, found, formed the Constitution bench. Now the the you know the petitioners solely want to know that this was not since this was not a judicial order. This was an administrative order. They, they, they said that they had the right to be published a copy of that order, which wasn't given. And then to which Justice Sikri, who was heading that bench, said that this would lead to nowhere. The matter before the court is somewhat different. It is not about who issued that order. It is about where, what do they want to explain or how they want to challenge the Vice President's order on rejecting the impeachment motion against Chief Justice of India. So given these current circumstances in place, this is what happened. And when... The five-judge bench refused to tell uh, a couple civil or refused to answer questions which couple civil wanted to know as to who passed that order because couple civil said, as petitioners, we 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 might feel like or we might or might not challenge that administrative order depending on the substance, depending on the objects of that matter as to who passed it. So the whole issue today revolved around who passed this, or you know, constitution, who made this constitution mm -hmm. bench overnight. Absolutely, and that, that brings you know, to the fore the question of transparency because it is the Chief Justice of India who is the master of roster and if he has not constituted the bench and if it has been done by an administrative order, is that even legally permissible? Well, th th that is exactly what uh, the petitioners wanted to know today. And, uh, you know, Kapil Sibyl said that we need to uphold the independence of judiciary. You know, he is not here to attack uh, the court and bring down people's confidence in the court. Uh, but as a matter of fact, as a democracy, we seek answers to particular questions and our uh, judiciary is free and, uh, you know, it, it is... All right, uh, live reactions coming in about this particular order. Let's dip in and listen in to what's being said there. Since it dealt directly with the Chief Justice, his own impeachment, therefore the Chief Justice could not have uh, heard the mentioning or uh, exercised any power, whether as master of the roster or for listing the case. Uh, court 2 said, all right, we will let us think about it and you come back tomorrow morning. But suddenly last night, the registry announced that the case had been listed before a constitution bench in court 6. Today, at 10.30 when the matter was taken up, Mr. Sibbal appearing for the uh, petitioners, for the MPs who had challenged the vice president's order, he said that, look, we need to know as to how this matter has come to be listed straight away before a constitution bench. It has never happened before that a matter or a writ petition which is filed is listed before a constitution bench even without a judicial order and we need to know if the Chief Justice has passed this order. 
and if the chief justice has passed this order what are the grounds we need to have a look at that order so that we can challenge this order because it's an administrative order of the chief justice and every administrative order of any authority even if it is of the chief justice all right so that was prashant bhushan there stating as to why there was an exception that was taken by the petitioners in this case because uh, it is not very clear as to how this constitutional bench to hear this petition that had in fact been filed challenging the vice president uh, striking down of the motion against the impeachment of the chief justice of india had in fact been constituted if it is not the chief justice of india who has constituted this constitutional bench is is if it is something that's been done by an administrative order one is this even legally permissible and secondly who in the administration has passed this order to constitute this particular constitutional bench and my colleague jessica taneja is tracking all the developments very closely for us is still with us now jessica uh, we, we just heard what prashant bhushan had to say uh, stating that the reason as to why this petition is now being withdrawn is a temporary thing uh, because there is no clarity and no transparency in terms of how this constitution bench has in fact been formulated All right, Jessica. If you can hear me, my question to you was: uh, We just heard the reaction there from Prashant Bhushan, who said that essentially this is a temporary measure. They would like to see as to what is now going to happen, because one, there is clearly no transparency in terms of how this constitution bench was constituted, because if it is not the Chief Justice of India, who is the master of the roster, who's, who can f constitute be uh, benches of this nature, then who in the administration? has constituted this constitutional bench and is that even legally permissible well that is a question uh, you know that is on everyone's mind right now mohammed and the fact that uh, even kapil sibal today submitted in court and he said that we, we don't doubt that the chief justice has been the chief of the roster and if you know and if you remember the past judgments have already if the supreme court judgments have clearly stated the fact that cji is the master of the roster there are judgments which have validated this which has said this time and again now what kapil sibal intended to do today was the fact that he simply wanted to find out who formed this constitution bench because if it's a judicial order then it then 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 it is apparently uh, a very very different narrative but if it is uh, the an administrative order then kapil sibal made an argument and said that it is it is his prerogative it is his mm -hmm. right to know as to who formed that constitution bench he said that uh, it is the power uh, you know uh, uh, the, there is the king is in action and uh, the subject to, it is subject to discipline and guidelines this power that the cji has and he said uh, uh, we should look at this issue and that the that the bench needs to tell him right that, uh, if, if whether a judgment uh, you know uh, whether master of roster in their judgment will be uh, uh, you know uh, giving any some sort of closure to this Absolutely, indeed, and also, Jessica, considering the fact that this is something that perhaps strikes at, you know, the very independence of judiciary. Now, the petition is essentially about what had happened in the legislature, where the chairman of the Rajya Sabha had struck down the petition for the impeachment motion against the Chief Justice of India, for which uh, the petitioners had gone to the court. And here we see that it is an administrative order, which has now constituted a constitution bench to hear the petition. Well, Mohan, there's a lot of confusion around this because what us. Tribes inside court number six today expected to happen was to move ahead with the petition. Right. Uh, remember, we last night itself, and we broke the story. We were talking about the petition, which stated that among the five grounds uh, uh, on which this uh, petition was moved in the apex court, challenging the vice president or the uh, Rajya Sabha or the upper house, uh, you know, chairman's order, uh, uh, you know, uh, rejecting the impeachment motion. the petition clearly stated that only one was considered and that a special inquiry uh, you know uh, was to be constituted by by the judges according to the judges inquiry act which didn't take place so that is on the on, the, on those grounds this petition was challenging that order but but surprisingly that petition and those details never came up it almost ended as on the question whether this is an administrative order or a if it uh, or a or a judicial order but at the end of it it is an administrative order but who formed this the whole mystery around who formed this bench and on those grounds the petition was withdrawn by kapil sibal was seeking answers from the bench and the bench time and again through the hearing of 45 minutes when it lasted the mm -hmm. bench only said that uh, uh, they did not it, it you know this is leading us nowhere 
and uh, what what would uh, you know the petition what would the petitioner achieve out of asking these questions right interesting uh, and also jessica have you had a chance to speak with any of the petitioners is there any course of action that they would like to now take this forward with well uh, we we had i had a chance to speak to kapil sibal but at this point in time he's not made any comments as to what would he what would uh, what course of action will he be taking forward uh, but that, there will be in fact one soon uh, Uh, right now, uh, what we know is that the petition has been withdrawn, but there will somehow be a legal course in action. Let's go. Do continue to stay on with this. So this is the big story that we are tracking at this point of time, where the petitioners have chosen to withdraw the case that they had filed, challenging the rejection of the impeachment motion by the chairman of the Rajya Sabha for the impeachment of the Chief Justice of India. So. some unprecedented scenes is what we are witnessing that are taking place in the supreme court the petitioner has claimed it is the right of the petitioner to know as to how this constitution bench was in fact constituted if the chief justice of india is the master of the roster if the procedure uh, which is laid out is that it is the chief justice of india who can actually formulate a bench to listen a particular case but if in this case a constitution bench has been formulated via an administrative order firstly is this even legally permissible secondly who constituted this constitutional bench who was the person who was who was behind this administrative order that has led to the formulation of this bench now this is the objection that was uh, raised by the petitioners which is why this particular case has now been withdrawn now it will be interesting to see as to how the opposition would like to proceed with this case because remember in the immediate aftermath of the chairman of the rajya sabha m venkaiah naidu decided to strike down the motion for the impeachment of the chief justice of india the option that was available for the opposition was to go to the supreme court and now this is a bit of a hurdle which the opposition has hit against and it will be interesting to see as to how this case proceeds from here